morning guys it's about 7 11 in the morning i'm getting ready to go to work i thought the daylight is on my face the lighting's decent so i'd film now now's the best time before i go to work and whilst my brain's working and i'm not winding down i thought it would be a good opportunity to share with you um the tips of how i started studying japanese since so much has happened being here in japan i've kind of slowed down on my learning process and then it got me to thinking of how i started and what I did to start and I thought other people may be stuck or not really sure on where to start so I thought I'd give some information and advice on uh, the resources that I used and that helped me to learn Japanese um, some of these resources will be books apps and websites if I find or think of any more um, I will put the links and information down below but these are very basic beginner um, resources and please don't judge me <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say please don't judge me because they are very helpful at least they were for me so hopefully they'll help you let's get to it um first i'll show you the books genki um it's a really good book i'd recommend them and um, this one's like the handbook handwriting and doing exercises um with the cd and this one is reading and guess practicing speaking and the kind of more informational side so exercise book and information um if you have a quick look inside so it kind of breaks down the grammar and information that you need to know about a certain particle or grammar point which is really helpful and it starts off from the basics and works your way up and then it kind of tests you later in this book you've got excess oh is it upside down so it te tests you later in this book so I would recommend to use them in unison just because they're helpful once uh, it's got a CD in the back of the book I don't think you can see it the charts in hiragana and katakana in the back and there is a CD for this big book the main book and then you've got the worksheet book that's got um, like a gap fill kind of activity and um, in unison with the CD you can use it as well so that's very helpful for the practical the information and the practical um, also, I'll probably insert a clip of uh, the hiragana and katakana books that I use at school. Um, I haven't got them here with me because I study better when I have free periods at school. So I just start tracing over the um, characters. Also, there's an alternative of going on Taekim's um, Guide to Learning Japanese. There are worksheets on there or tracing sheets that you can print out and use. Um, also uh, kamushi chan she has a good template of the kat uh, katakana and hiragana too i would recommend to start hiragana katakana and then move up to kanji because that's what worked for me i don't know what everyone else is saying but that method you start with what a child learns and that's what they learn first then they move on to katakana which is like um english names and english meanings and words and then you'll move on to kanji which is like the old school original confusing as hell chinese characters mixed with japanese characters making this new meaning if you change one little and they've got three meanings for one character i guess what i realized is that there's a lot of similarities between english and japanese in the sense of many meanings for one thing and i never thought of it like that way and never delved so deep into my own language until I started learning Japanese. Um, mainly because I care a lot more and I'm a lot older and actually care about learning the language. But um, yeah, it's really, really interesting and you'll probably find that too. Anyway, I don't wanna get sidetracked. So let's move on. Other things as well are apps. Um, I'll show you all the different apps that I have on my phone. Let me just get it up right here. Oh, shame. <laughs> I've only just realized that my boyfriend's like the picture in the background, but whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what apps I actually use um, to help me learn Japanese. So um, I'm going to go into education here. Um, and then the first one is called Murai Japanese and it starts from basic level. So I'm going to just give you a really quick like overview of what it's like. Hello and welcome to lesson one of Murai Japanese. And a hello from Takako. Konnichiwa. 
and from Daiki. Konnichiwa. Let's start by covering some very important pronunciation for Japanese. And then it will slowly break down the meaning behind、um, certain words, why they're used. It will start you from basics and then it will help you to build up a sentence. So, obviously, this is starting with vowels, which is the very basics of things. And I think this is a great apparatus to use、um, to help you build your language up. I found this very useful. I used it on the bus, and it's portable because it's an app. So, I'd really recommend to use this. And if you have the time to repeat back, saying it out loud always helps as well. But I've learned so much from this alone. So, I'd really recommend this. Um, also, there are different functions that you can use here. So, you do、um, have to pass. Oh, it's locked at the moment. Hold on. Oh, it's locked. Okay, so down, down here at the bottom that I've selected is the super quiz. So, you'll take the quiz, which is usually, oh, oh God knows, like 10 to 20 questions based on what you've learned in this unit or chapter. And then you pass and move on to the next one. So, it's not like you're just blindly learning information. It's like you have to. Remember what you've learned and pass the next level. So that's really helpful, and then it just gets harder and harder and harder and harder and harder and harder, as you can see. But the only downside is after a certain amount of chapters, you do have to pay. So just bear that in mind. But I think it's, I'd recommend it. It's definitely worth it. I think it's a great resource. Into the next one、um, that I actually enjoy, which is Hiragana by Dr. Moku. So、um, what you can do is. Reading quizzes, I'll show you. You can quiz yourself like that, and it's just a good way to reaffirm your hiragana.、Um, this is a mnemonic app, which means it's like created a system、um, with a pattern for letters, and I guess, like, oh, I don't know what that was、um, a pattern of letters or ideas that kind of help you and assist you to remember something. So, in this case, Uh, the pictures help you to remember the hiragana, and we have a, e, u, e, o, and this one in particular. And this helps me to remember, always remember the little per- the person throwing the bone to the dog. So that helps me to write the natural、um, formation of the hiragana, which looks like this if you click it here. So、um, that's really helpful too to help you remember how to. Write、um, the order how to write the strokes because there are stroke orders, so it will teach you that too. And there's so many different features on here, just have a look for yourself and try it out. It does cost money, I think it's about $4.99 at the time when I bought it,、uh, five pounds. I will put the correct prices down below anyway, so don't worry about that. Oh, you can write, I forgot about that. So I've purchased the Hiragana app and the Katakana app, which is kind of like the same thing. You can listen to the word. And click on the one that you think is correct. I've recently purchased the kanji because I'm kind of leveling up right now. And these are the kanji signs all there. And it, if you click on it, it will give you a breakdown of what the meanings are and yeah, the history, I guess, of how it's formed. It's really helpful. So let's come out of that. And then the app that Is really excellent as well. Is this games app? If you enjoy playing games, I would recommend Mind Snacks.、Um, I just find it really cute and super, super fun. Um, so, um, I forgot how to.、Oh, God, I haven't used this in a while, you can tell.、Um, so, I'm gonna go into lessons. Where am I? Let's do something that I've done before and stuff like that. So, let's just practice time. I can't actually hear anything right now, so I'll just do this one. So,、um, you select the right one and then you keep it like alive. You keep the,、um, I'm trying to concentrate at the same time, which is a bit difficult. Yeah, so you keep the fish swimming, which is cool.、Um, and you've got a timer and stuff like that before it runs out. So, and then that's what happens if you die. But you've got other chances as well. Let's just exit that.、Um, let's go back to the main menu. You've got all kinds of different games, which is like this one is more reading. So you'll see the word there and you have to select it in the correct order, which is super cute.、Um, I enjoy it. And it's got cute little sound effects and stuff like that. And it helps you to learn how to spell. You can adapt the, the settings as well to,、um, if you can see there, there you go, Kana mode. 
and you've got kanji mode as well if you want to level up which is excellent you do pay for this app but again i would recommend to get the the whole japanese um package just because there's so many games that you can play and it really does help you develop your learning and memorizing because it's like a quick thinking it almost reminds me of um remember on the nintendo ds when you had um what was it called dr it was Dr. Something, I forgot, Dr. Moku? No, not Dr. Moku. The brain training game on the DS, it reminds me of that a lot, but just much more cuter and obviously a Japanese exercise, not maths. But it still helps you to get that mental, you know, flexibility and exercise and helping you be snappy and quicker. So I'd recommend this one too. Um, I don't have, oh, where is my other one? So if I go into here, just because I don't have it on this phone, I have it on my other phone, Okay, so um, I found it. Um, this, unfortunately, I can't show you inside of my other phone because it's not charged at the moment. I totally forgot. Please forgive me. But you can see the screenshot here. They do have different lesson plans um, in order and very clear explanations and very well organized explanations of the formula to um, understanding and learning Japanese and the history behind it. Um, I would say the other one um, that I suggested to you, um, the, the Mirai Japanese one is more about grammar and punctuation and the formula of like subject uh, verb object or subject object verb, sorry. It focuses more on your pronunciation and your uh, tone, I guess, and the speaking. This one here is more I guess in detail and there's a handwriting or like feature where you can download the handwriting sheet um, for you to practice which is also helpful so I can actually help you with the JLPT which is the Japanese language proficiency test um, and it will start you from basics and work your way all all the way up um, you start with level five and work your way all the way up to level one and I guess after that you would be like native language so yeah there's a lot of helpful features on this one too i'd recommend you download it and try it for yourself another good app to have is remembering the kanji um you can have that you can actually purchase the app or i could recommend that you get the book as well so let's just click it on here and just have a look so there you go again it's got like the breakdown of certain words and how to write them and the kanji which is helpful obviously oh god guys i totally forgot um another good app is um google translate this is excellent i know it's not for specific like japanese but you can um you can use this tool for it just to reference and even when you get to um japan it's good to find out what things are for instance this is chocolate um there you go, it translates it for you, can you see? Um, it, normally when things are in like a certain type of font or bold, it won't translate it sadly, but if it's very plain like this and one colour, it tends to pick it up pretty well. I mean, you can see the back of it, all the details there, and it will translate it for you, which is a pretty cool feature. Uh, let me show you one more on my in my book. Um, you'll see um, most of them pretty much, except for mosquito here. <laughs> Um, some of them do match up, sometimes they don't, but it's a good way to kind of, if you're shopping, to find out what the hell you're buying. Um, let me go back again. And also just to type in anything that you're not sure of, like, you know, um, I guess you can just type in something here and then it will show you different ways of saying things. So that's helpful all the other way around. Um... You've, if you've got, um, I'm lucky to have like this here, which is, you can type it in, see what it means, and there you go. So that's pretty helpful too. I'd recommend to download this. Uh, Kamisha Chan's also good for resources on how to study um, your vocab and how to learn and how to get started. Um, and sometimes she tries out some interesting websites as well that are um, there to help you learn um, the Japanese language. 
so she'll test them out and kind of do a review as well and I think she was sponsored but I don't know if she's sponsored anymore but yeah that's all she's also um, an interesting person to check out as well and J vloggers as well I'm sure they'll give you ta um, tips also um, another really helpful video that I wish I'd have found a little bit earlier actually before I started studying was this one which is a uh, Japan society um, New York City I think this one is um, talking about the sentence structure and how to formulate a sentence it's nicely broken down and it's actually really good and refreshing to hear from actual Japanese people um, and practice with alongside them so you actually have a human voice and kind of someone to reference um, two that you can see so I like this video I'll also link this down below this really helped me to kind of get a grasp of what to say and how to say it so here's an old school one that I found um, I do really like it it's very um, 70s or 80s actually maybe the 80s or 70s I don't know it's old school but um, this one just kind of like breaks down the different um, hiragana um, in little story forms I guess and have the characters so you kind of like learn let me just skip ahead so you can see what I'm talking about this is on YouTube so you can find this video for free and it's pretty cute and I like anime so it's a good way for me to learn um, just having that visual there helped me to remember all these different signs so I felt this was a good beginner's way as well I'll put the link down below for the video it's so stupid but I like it <laughs> person is Risa um, she's also from Japanese pod 101 and um, I find her personality very genki very happy and she's very easy to listen to very pleasant very clear and um, she kind of keeps it fun and gives you some fun ways and very um, native ways to speak to your friends and how to formulate sentences yes again um, I just find her very very easy to understand I like the formula it's actually come a long way Japanese pod 101 back from the video that I showed you before to this one they've developed a lot with their graphics and it's become even easier to understand so I really appreciate um, this free YouTube resource so check it out don't judge me guys I absolutely adore this song it's so basic and easy to sing along with and very catchy too I think this song should be included in every person learning Japanese's basic starter kit of hiragana I swear down by it it's amazing <laughs> I really hope that this helped you and that you can start your journey towards learning Japanese the same way I did and um, any chance that you get I did it at the gym I did it on the bus I did it while I was walking obviously when I'm at home in my own quiet time and um, anytime you have free time is the best time to do it and that's why having a phone app is very handy because it's portable um, Leave your books at work, I guess if you're always at work, just leave it on the desk so when you have a bit of time you can just take 10 minutes or something. I used to take an hour a day to kind of study, um, but it slacked a lot more being here. Yeah, there are other websites like um, italki or Fluent U, um, and communication apps like Hello Talk. And that you can use on your phone that are, they are very useful and you can find real people to talk to that are kind of like on the same level and want to learn like and have a foreign exchange with you and learn your language and you learn Japanese which is their language so that's really helpful too and um, you can go out and meet people there are lots of events around Japan where you can make friends and get to know people um, and just put yourself out there and that's it for all the information I really hope that this was helpful for you and that this can guide you to how to start on your journey towards learning Japanese and um, I wish you all the luck and please like I said again don't judge me and if you've got any other suggestions please put your comments down below so we can share our information together and um, give this video a like if this did help you um, and also I have different social media that you can follow me on or just check out if you want to and don't forget more importantly to subscribe because I have um, content like this on my past videos and I will have more coming out soon so please stay tuned and click that bell too which will keep you notified on when I post new videos 
So without further ado, fight on, gambate, peace and love. Bye guys.